Today, the Baptist preaches good news, not thundering threats of judgment, but rather good news, challenging us to share in God's imagination for our world. Try to imagine a world swept clear of all that have struck God's love and care. Try to imagine a world swept clear of hunger and famine. Try to imagine a world swept clear of the wars and destruction of men, women, and children who have never asked for conflict. Try to imagine a world swept clear of domestic violence and abuse and human trafficking. Try to imagine a world swept clear of racism, prejudice, and discrimination. And then try to imagine a world, as St. Paul tells us today, where the peace of God, which surpasses all knowledge, protects the hearts and minds of all. And where, as Zephaniah tells us, you, no one, will have further misfortune to fear. Imagine that. We heard the advice of the baptizer when the people asked him, what should we do? What did John answer? Whoever has two coats, share one with another. Whoever has food, do likewise and treat people with fairness and justice. So then we gather here and we hopefully are saying to the Lord, what should we do? And what are we told? Share, be fair, and don't bully. Basic rules of the playground, aren't they? Can we remember those? So now is the time to go beyond the superficiality of our lives, the shallowness of a world that has little resemblance at times of God's dream and God's imagination for our world. Now is the time of our transformation. Yeah, yours and mine, both of us, all of us. Time for transformation and conversion, making room for God in our lives and sweeping away anything that hurts any of God's people. The spiritual writer Anthony DeMello tells the story of a spiritual master from whom God seeks advice. Yeah, God goes to the spiritual master for advice. And God said, I want to play a game of hide and seek with humankind. I've asked my angels, what is the best place to hide in? God says, some have told me that the depth of the ocean is the place to hide. Others say the top of the highest mountain. Then there's others that say, go on the other side of the moon or on some distant star. What do you suggest? God asks the spiritual master. And the spiritual master says to God, hide in the human heart. That's the last place they will think of. Try to imagine God with us, walking with us. What should we do? Just open our hearts and remember the rules of the place. And as Zephaniah says, believe it or not, the Lord will sing joyfully. The Lord will sing joyfully. Why? Because 